Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another episode of Restaurant Remake. Today I'm making, maybe it's all your, your all-time favorite, Crab Rangoon. Now I made it with a very easy recipe here, so please definitely continue to watch this and check it out. I guarantee you this is delicious. If this is your first time watching the Restaurant Remake, please consider to subscribe and hit the like button at the end of this video and feel free to share this with your friends and family. So are you ready for this recipe? So let's check out the ingredients. Okay, here are the ingredients to make our crab rangoon here. So I have an eight ounce of cream cheese here. I have wonton skin. I have some um, dill here. So a couple of spring of dill here and I have six uh, uh, stem of chive here and this is going to be a quick and easy a blue crab spread that I purchased. Um, if you can find this at your local supermarket, I got this at Costco so definitely um, highly recommend this. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and chop off some of these fresh ingredients. So with a mixing bowl here, we're gonna transfer over our cream cheese, as well as the blue crab spread. Now, how much you want for the blue crab shack, um, the crab spread, is I'm gonna use eight ounce. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this over. Okay, so that's exactly eight ounce here. Okay, so eight ounce of the blue crab spread. All right, so now we're gonna take our cream cheese and we're gonna dump the whole cream cheese in. Okay, so we're gonna add up, add some fresh ingredients. So we're gonna take some of our chive here. Okay, going to chop this. Okay, just gonna add that into the mixing bowl directly. All right, then I'm gonna take some of the dill. I love dill, so I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Okay, so more or less, it's up to your taste with these kind of um, ingredients. So, and I'm not even gonna use the whole thing here that I have, okay? But I love the smell of the dill. All right, so let's transfer it over. All right, so now we're gonna mix this together. All right, I'm gonna season it a little bit with some black pepper. So you can just continue to fold this to mix this filling here. Okay, so with the wonton wrappers, so you can see the brand. It's the Hong Kong style wonton wrappers. The twin Marquise. All right, so this is the usual brand that I usually get for my wonton skin. All right, so I'm gonna introduce my wife. My wife is really a pro in terms of doing these. So I have an extra pair of hands here today. So this is can be a family activity for sure. Okay, so far we can make one batch of the following instruction. You can make at least 32 to 33 of these and you can freeze them. Okay, so if you're not gonna eat them right away, you can freeze them, okay? I am going to fry a dozen of them, and the other one I am gonna freeze it. 
And whenever you want it, you can bring it back out directly from the freezer and then fry them. Okay, so you want to just put the filling in the center. And you want to pinch it. So then, like this, right? So you can make a little adjustment. And then pitch it in the center and you don't need any water here. You can just squeeze it all the way into the center. And the center is what's gonna meet basically on the side of uh, each wonton skin. So that is it. So, so far you don't have to be perfect, okay? This is what it looks like right now as we're doing it. So like I said, great family activity. Okay, we're gonna show you how to fry this in a second. Okay, so we are at the frying stage. So you wanna make sure your deep fryer is preheated to 350 degrees. And literally when we drop them, it's gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna put four at a time, so you wanna space them out. Now also, you can actually freeze these and then you can store them and then fry them. Again, it's gonna take one minute to fry these whole process. Okay, so occasionally you wanna dunk it down. And once it's nice and golden brown, we can take it out. Transfer, transfer it over to a paper towel. So let those SS oil to kind of get rid of those SS oil. And you're gonna continue to do this for how many that you wanted to cook. And that's basically it. So with the crab rangoon here, I have paired with this sweet sauce for the egg or uh, the spring roll. So for this crab rangoon, I decided to take the easy way out and I actually used the sweet sauce for the spring roll. So this is a, um, traditional use for spring roll, but this is just as good for the crab rangoon. So let me go ahead and do a taste test. So I'm gonna take my crab rangoon, dip it, dip it into the sauce, the sweet and chili sauce. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. So this wonton skin that I told you to get is thinner than the traditional wonton skin that you're gonna get, get from when you order out, which makes this extra crispy and it is just lighter. So this is a good alternative to make it at home. Mmm. If you have enjoyed this episode of the Crab Rangoon, be sure to click the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to the Food Travel Shopping Channel. And again, I would love to hear what other dishes that you would like to see at the Restaurant Remake. So please feel free to comment below and I would love to hear from you. And also be sure to comment below your success story and what do you think about this recipe for the Crab Rangoon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video and update. Bye.